Hello students. In today's class, we are going to uh, see again Chaudhary's uh, Money and the Englishman. Here, I am going to give you a detailed summary of the essay. So, please listen to the class. Niraj Chaudhary's Money and the Englishman. So, this particular essay, if you see Money and the Englishman, this uh, essay actually, you know, explores the Indian and the Western attitudes toward money. Uh, in Chaudhary's opinion, the Indian attitude towards money making is uh, religiously inclined. But if you see, the Englishman's love for money is almost uh, instinctual and their religious uh, beliefs have nothing to do with uh, money making. And uh, coming into the summary, uh, Chaudhary, he did not, uh, he says, he, this is how the essay begins, uh, you know, by uh, uh, citing example from his childhood. And he says, uh, he did not give much attention in his childhood to in, uh, Englishman's economic conditions. The reason is he thought that he was, uh, that was not easy for him to understand economics at, at that age. It is when he was young, when he was a child. And also he was ignorant of the subject, of the subject economics. He doesn't know anything about the subject. And uh, another reason is he disliked that subject. So he did not give much attention uh, to Englishman's economic, economic conditions. And then the author Nira Chaudhary, he feels that economics uh, later, later stage, he felt that economics uh, in his everyday life and the human form cannot be avoided by anyone. Because you know, the reason is economics is actually a part of our everyday life. And it has been the concern of everyone, especially of the moralist. And uh, uh, he tried to see the religious symptoms, the uh, symptoms of uh, love of money in uh, Hindu society. And he says that it's very evident uh, the religious symptoms of uh, the love of money in Hindu society is uh, very evident. Uh, it is uh, in almost all Hindu houses, uh, there is uh, a private shrine for uh, God or goddess of money or even the economic form of their own God. And even in westernized home, there is a little uh, sanctum uh, that is, you know, uh, most attractively but cheaply uh, furnished uh, and decorated these days, if you see, which is devoted to the goddess of Lakshmi, uh, actually who confers uh, prosperity. And even in shops, the, uh, the author says he could see the image of Ganesha, who actually presides over all enterprise. And this religiosity goes to the extreme of uh, more devoted worshippers, you know, uh, to the goddess of uh, Kali. Uh, if you see the more devoted worshippers of goddess Kali are only Thaksa. And the writer says only in India, the, uh, uh, the tribe of, you know, uh, pundits called economics are uh, held in greater honor. And they are the only pundits honored by us now. So India has become El Dorado. So actually this El, El Dorado is uh, you know, a mythical place of uh, fabulous wealth and El Dorado today has uh, been you know, for, uh, you know, for every kind of economics from every part of the world. So India has been an El Dorado for uh, economics from every part of the world. And ever since the Rig Vedic age, we have had economics God. And even now, uh, we, do not, uh, we do not leave medical treatment solely to, uh, to the doctors. Uh, but uh, we request our priest and the astrologer to pray or you know, predict uh, what will happen in future, what will happen to the person, per, uh, patient, whether he will recover. So we, uh, though in this scientific era, we depend on uh, priest and astrologer. And we call our gods to help us even in our of, you know, economic and uh, technological uh, ventures. Uh, for instance, um, uh, when the great dam of Bakra was uh, formally opened, uh, there were Vedic rites to ensure its success. So this shows that how much inclination we had towards God, Indians, okay. And next, um, uh, but the author or the writer Nirat Chaudhary, he says, uh, he failed to get any such clues uh, to the devotion of money from Englishmen. Uh, in our country, money making is regarded as an occupation with pride by every individual. 